and again we will um, make them that color material editor okay so now we have our basic mm, kiwi bot oh that's right damn it we forgot the chest sphere thing the chest uh, I don't know what it is. Cylinder here. Ah, oh, that's right. I forgot we were in perspective. This one will. 17 is fine. Make sure this is zeroed out there. I'll just put it in the middle of the body. That makes it easier. Right click, edit poly. grab this middle one again um, sometimes you might find it hard to see I need it this way though you can hit F2 on your keyboard it shows you what you've selected better but um I just hit F2 because I can't stand look at that bright red thing bright red selection is not my thing so bevel that looks fine apply That's fine. <sighs> Change the color again. Okay, so now we have our completed Kiwi bot quick you know thing so I'm just gonna I'm gonna link in position things properly now link link and link to the body And then uh, when I'm done doing this, we're going to add a Studio Max basic um, bipedal skeleton. And I'll show you how we can attach this skin to uh, the skeleton. So now everything should be controlled from here which it is, I, I check things, um, after you think you've made all your whatever, your um, your links, it's good to, it's good to move, move it around and make sure that pieces aren't still floating there, not linked to anything, in this case, um, so, everything looks alright, now I'm gonna just change the tail a little bit, oh, see that? See how it's getting stretched out? That's because of the link. Now look, if I unlink that, no stretching. Look at that. So we'll go uh, 45 degrees. Now nah, we'll do 30 and 40. 45 is fine. I just want to get a little dip in the tail there. And now I'm going to relink this. Okay, so we'll add a max skeleton, which is under the systems uh, thing here. Let's go to biped.
another good reason we link things is look at this because now we can rotate everything all at once to match the orientation of the skeleton here so we'll click the skeleton go to our motions I think this is yeah, our motion thing there and we want to go to figure mode which allows us to edit the structure first of all we can turn off the arms because the kiwi bot doesn't have arms and uh... let's get them lined up here i'm going to hit f3 on the keyboard there to turn that into wires f3 here and i'm going to Okay, so everything's zeroed out there. Another good reason you can line things up quicker that way. So, oh, all right, let's lower this so they touch the ground plane there. All right, some of these things might seem nitpicky, and well, some of them are, but sometimes you should do this stuff to make things easier for you so we don't need so many spine links with this actually I'm only going to use one right there is fine I want to uh... oh what I like to do also is first of all <laughs> damn it um, I forgot about my layers. I'm trying to not rush through this, but I'm, I don't know. I'm not really with it today. So we created our biped by accident on the um, the main geometry, the basic geometry. So let's create another layer. Um, Kiwi skeleton. Again, make sure that layer is checked. We'll create our biped again. Motion. I'm going to turn on the bend links. That just makes things pivot from the local position. Okay, I can zero this out again. I want to go into character mode. Again, zero that out. Toe links. Toes. The height there it is. I'm just gonna bring the bottom of the pelvis to the bottom of the kiwi skin pelvis. That seems to make sense. And no, I guess not really. What I want to do is I want to match the ball and socket joints on the biped to the ball and socket joints on the kiwi bot. 